making changes. We want to see them. We demand that we see them in the world. But why is it that individually, in order to join the collective, we find it very difficult? Well, one of the reasons is we have muscle memory, mentally, physically, and emotionally, that is a lot stronger than we realize until we set our intention. We begin to walk the path with action towards the change that we desire. And then we find ourselves, whoa, this muscle memory is a lot stronger than my intention because it keeps overriding what I want to do because it's kind of an automatic movement. Holy cow, I had no idea it was so ingrained in my DNA. Until I was ready to make the change, I thought I was taking steps towards the change. And then I found myself back in the same sinkhole, the same rut. Well, that, my friends, is old patterning. In order to override the old patterning, we have to start one moment one day at a time. Yes, there's a long-term goal. And I'm a believer in 30, 60, 90, and 100 days to at least set something in a better motion to create an energetic change and a desired outcome that may hold. When we get too far ahead of ourselves, we wind up tripping more than we expected. And then we consider ourselves a failure. And then we do what? We're really good at kicking our own ass. We're really good at lowering our frequencies. We're really good at sometimes staying there. But as we know, we're aware that that's not a healthy frequency and vibration to be at. We do have the power to override that. So I suggest smaller increments of change. If you want to change your diet, go to the store and select exactly what it is you're going to eat for the next 24, 48, maybe 72 hours. And you prep that food. You pack that lunch. You have those things available to you in the car and wherever you go. So that if you go to stray, you're like, oh, I have this pre-planned. I'm going to have this. Now on top of that, let's amplify and activate what it is that we're going, we're going to ingest because we pre-planned it. That whatever it is that we're going to intake is blessed and equilibriumed to our current energetic state so that it is a complement to our energetic state. It's not overpowering. So then you begin to yo-yo and spin. So bless it so that it Calibrates with your current physical, mental, emotional state to uplift a notch or two. So you don't want to go from here to wow, because you will come back down. So you kind of want to gradually, gradually, gradually complement this beautiful vessel that's already doing what it needs to do. You're just amplifying and activating it by literally blessing it, just like your thought patterns before you contribute to a conversation. Calibrate it. Think about it. What is it that this person needs to hear or would like to hear? And is it something that I can actually deliver? Because remember, I'm not a fixer can't change them. I'm changing the way I think and I respond and I feel. And sometimes the best response is just a 
And I wish you all the best with that. I feel you. I feel you. I'm just dousing you with a lot of love. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to change their energetics. We're working with our own energetics, which then could put their motor in motion to resolve their own issues because we're not taking them. Ask your higher self, your spirit guide, you, the me, myself, and I of the God self, the universe, your independent positioning system to guide you through every step, every thought, every morsel you put in your mouth, every little thing that you do so that you emanate the change that you want to see in the exterior by working with the interior. Yeah. It's just adjusting the attitude, my friends, to gain some altitude, my friends. And you know, when you want to fly, be willing to wave goodbye. You want to soar, be willing to change your footing on the floor. Be willing to take some lift off, take some chances, trust that intuition. So your flowing is forever growing. And you stop, drop, sitting and you're becoming aware of your breath and where you are in that actual moment, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etherically. And what are you collecting and what do you contribute? What are you collecting for information to filter through? And what are you contributing? Sometimes just being the anchor, the grounded anchor and just listening is all that needs to be of you in that moment. You don't need to have something to say or do or be to feel like you've got camaraderie. Because this is all about developing your self uniqueness and making the change within you that's working for you. And you're willing to say you're adaptable, but are you pivoting? Are, are you learning to step sideways a little bit and get out of that comfort zone where you're now breaking up a little bit of that tight, rigid muscle of the mental, physical, and emotional that was a lot stronger than you thought and was creating self-sabotaging and resisting as you were about to make change. Because they all three need to work synergistically. And that's going to require stepping back and pre-planning and forward thinking until you begin to tone, tune. You begin to start to feel movement and your roots are rerooting and 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 you're you're being able to just see sense and feel in in a different different depth of self because you're using an innate sensory along with all your typical physical sensories and you're enhancing them and you're leaning on them more and then you're seeing and feeling and reprogramming yourself to be better in this moment, creating change on a cellular DNA level. You are all you need to be as you are. It's just that maybe some things throughout your life has created maybe what you don't want to see. In this moment and what you see within yourself is amplified billions of times out there so remember out there we cannot control we only can control as the commander of this beautiful vehicle that houses all things all things is housed in this vehicle and so you're going to create co-create with this vehicle so that it is working optimally, high octane function. And then next thing you know, you've gotten from today 
to 10 days, to 20 days, to 30 days. And now you're moving in towards that 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then you're like, whoa, yeah. Be willing to love and forgive yourself through all of it. Because it's a learning experience. Journal it. If you feel like you need to team up with another person because you need accountability, do that too. But really, for me, myself, I'm not a competitive person. I don't like people to keep tabs on me because I got to keep tabs on myself. How am I going to be in, in the who I am? Right? So also remember, there's a lot of things being worked out in our dream systems right now. A lot of conversations, a lot of unloading, a lot of purging and merging going on in our dream states. Don't overthink it and get in that durable wheel. Just let it have its process. Get up and start your day. And set your timer on your phone. There's no excuse not to say, okay, Every hour on the hour, I'm going to check in and see where my frequency level is. How far up in beta am I? Am I? And how can I bring it down closer to alpha? Let some juices flow. And still be in that 10 and 2. Got to do. Fully aware of my peripherals. And that maybe you have an opportunity to get down a little bit further into alpha little more creative juices and then maybe you're able to dip closer to theta borderline hit that wave of theta <clears throat> and rejuvenate just like that if you want to learn how to do that get a session with me stop procrastinating it's time to make change so just check in with me we'll go over it and then you can see where you're bobbing and weaving and where you're, where you're balanced and where you're imbalanced. And then you're able to, oh yeah, harness this beautiful vehicle and get it to its destinations with triumphant grace and ease. Yeah. Yeah. Step by step by step. Mm-hmm. All right, enough for me. I'll see each and every one of you on the next video. Let me know how you're doing. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the video. Bye-bye.